While tanks have evolved to become lighter over time, they are arguably more powerful now than they've ever been. And the Rheinmetall Lynx is on the leading edge of the transformation. If it's true that mission success depends on swift adaptation to rapidly changing threats, then the Lynx has already succeeded. A concept born in 2015, the Lynx modular light tank has branched into several specialized variants, and more are underway. The German firm claims its infantry fighting vehicle is, quote, radically different and uncompromisingly innovative. With its modular design, freedom of action, survivability, and adaptability, the vehicle is slowly but surely securing a place among NATO's favorites. In fact, the model is a top candidate to replace the proficient Bradley fighting vehicle in the coming years. Armed with a mighty Lance 2.0 turret, enhanced vision gadgets, or with ambulance appliances, quote, a Lynx is always a Lynx, no matter how it's configured. A gap in the market. As military operations grew increasingly complex and hard to predict on the 21st century battlefield, an innovative vehicle concept was born to fill the gap in the market. Designed by Rheinmetall Land System, part of the company's vehicle systems division, the Lynx was conceived as a family of armored fighting vehicles. Rheinmetall started the endeavor in 2015 as a private venture aiming to provide customers with a modern infantry fighting vehicle that could both counter emerging near-peer threats and conduct asymmetric or peacekeeping operations. According to the Dusseldorf-based company, the series is, quote, at the forefront of a new trend in IFV design. In truth, armored vehicles will gradually evolve to reduce complexity, as well as lower unit and through-life costs. A key principle of the concept is the integration of proven subsystems, which feature a high technology readiness level that not only reduces development time and cost, but also technical risk. According to the manufacturer, the platform offers maximum freedom of action, or move, sense, and strike capabilities. As such, Lynx assures outstanding mobility, data gathering, analysis, and dissemination, and flexible and effective response to battlefield threats. Within five years from the initial idea, the elaboration, conceptualization, and development phases were completed, up to the point of the first successful sale. In June of 2016, the Lynx was introduced in its lighter configuration, the KF-31, at the Erosatory Defense Exhibition. Two years later, the KF-41, a slightly larger but considerably heavier vehicle, was also unveiled at the event. During the exhibition, the KF-41 was displayed in two configurations. First, as the classic IFV, with the vehicle armed with a Lance 2.0 turret. Subsequently, it was reconfigured into a command variant. By the fall of 2020, the first interested country to procure what Rheinmetall called, quote, the most advanced IFV to date was Hungary, a NATO member. After that, the Hungarian government and the Rheinmetall group signed a contract for a joint manufacturing project. During this time, the Lynx family's flexible design branched into several purposes. In the company's words, quote, Never has the principle of modularity been pursued so systematically. The latest developments open a multitude of new possibilities for creating modular vehicle platforms. Modularity. Central to the Lynx design is its modular configuration. The concept is separated into two primary parts, consisting of the basic chassis and specialized mission and roll equipment. All Lynx variants are designed around a standard drive module of a conventional layout. Built around a sponson-shaped hull, the so-called light tank features a shallow glacis and angled belly plate. And at the front, it has the driver compartment to the left and a Liebherr D9612 diesel engine to the right. When fitted with a turret, there's a fighting compartment in the missile section. Also, a dismount compartment with access via a power-operated ramp is housed at the rear. This rear crew compartment is a mission-neutral space, fitted with sea rails and universal fixing points, providing flexible configuration for specific equipment. Finally, the exhaust and cooling are routed to the rear, 
thus reducing the Lynx's thermal and acoustic signature. Final drives are mounted at the front, while the rear holds toothless idler sprockets with track tensioners. As for the running gear, six road wheel stations are located on each side. The wheel stations guide lightweight steel or segmented rubber band type track and are mounted on a suspension system consisting of swing arms. Equipped with conventional torsion bars and super shock damper systems, the setup is both reliable and cost efficient. In addition, an assortment of mission kits can be installed at the front. For instance, the IFV kit comprises a turret fitted to the roof, and an armored personnel carrier module features a roof plate for an array of vision devices, including night vision alternatives and a remote weapon station. The combat support vehicle, custom made for the Australian military, features a prominent design particularity. Apart from the turret's removal, the rear was altered to provide a lowered load bed for cargo. Moreover, a five-ton capable crane was fitted in the center, with additional fuel tanks and storage volume housed below the load bed. The Lynx can take up command and control, armored reconnaissance, repair and recovery, and ambulance roles, among others. And the transformation from one configuration to another can take place either near or in the field within eight hours. Notably, several other variants are underway, including a mortar carrier with a 120mm mortar, a C2-C3 vehicle, and an air defense variant. Defenses The machine is fitted with several subsystems to facilitate maintenance. The KF-41 is a shared mechanism in the Puma and Ajax vehicles, while the driver's station was taken from the Kodiak. Besides, the tracks are identical to the PZH-2000s, and the Lee Pair engine is widely used in the industry. As far as mobility parameters are concerned, they vary according to each configuration. Generally speaking, maximum road speed reaches 70 km per hour, gradeability is at least 60%, and side slope traverse capability is 30%. Moreover, the vehicle has the ability to climb a 1-meter vertical obstacle frontally, cross a 2.5-meter trench, and an unprepared forwarding depth of 1.5 meters. With 900 liters of fuel, the range expands up to 500 kilometers. Also, the Lynx's protection can be scaled according to each specific threat. Its ballistic steel armor was crafted for anti-tank weapons, medium-caliber ammunition, artillery shrapnel, and bomblets. However, the specifics remain classified. There are several available kits, including the standard Mounted Combat Operations, or MCO kit, for protection against similarly armed opponents, featuring an advanced passive component as well as active protection systems. In contrast, the Complex Urban Environment, or CUE kit, excludes active components. Furthermore, a specialized kit for air transportation is understood to protect the vehicle so that it can be deployed straight from transport aircraft. The AMAP ADS Active Protection System also provides additional active protection for shaped charge warhead attacks, while an assortment of passive and defensive aids include ROSI, or Rapid Obscuration System, Laser Warning System, and Acoustic Shot Locator System, all integrated with the Lance turret. And besides the heating and cooling ducts, the light tank counts with nuclear, biological, and chemical filtration combined in an environmental control system. Scalability The 2016 Lance turret can fit an autocannon of 30 or 35 millimeters, as well as a 7.62 millimeter Rheinmetall machine gun RMG capable of 800 rounds per minute. Plus, the vehicle can also be fitted with an anti-tank guided missile launcher. As for the 2018 version, it features the Lance 2.0 turret, with flexible mission pods to the sides, providing specialized capabilities. In 2022, the company announced a fire support variant of the KF-41, armed with a 120mm gun. The next-generation vehicle will merge a test-and-tried turret concept and the smoothbore cannon with the classic Lynx KF-41 chassis. Offering a high-performance solution, the Lynx 120 not only harbors vast growth potential, but also an assured overmatch capability.
Additionally, the platform conforms to NATO standards and has drawn the attention of several countries, including the Czech Republic, Slovakia, and the United States. In fact, the model is considered a primary suitor to become the replacement for the Bradley fighting vehicles. However, the U.S. Army rescheduled the optionally manned fighting vehicle program and rearranged requirements, as well as the acquisition timeline. From mid-2022 until 2027, many companies within the industry will carry out the last phases of detailed design, prototyping, and low-rate initial production, including the American Rheinmetall vehicle. And full-rate production of the new armored vehicles is expected by 2030. Thanks for watching our video. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to all our Dark Documentaries channels for more military technology content. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos. Stay tuned.